Scorpio is Obsidian Lotus Cell. This is number two of today. So I don't know. I was just getting some more messages for you guys and decided to go ahead and tap into your energy and see what's going on. Before I get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, share your love and support, like I always say, but please keep it positive, right? We like to love and uplift on this channel. It's love and light over here. So um, many of you guys know this year has been crazy for me. I went through chemotherapy and two surgeries. Um, I am just kind of getting back into the real world and making the shift of, you know, kind of going back into my, you know, um, field working a couple of days out of the week, only part time right now. But, you know, um, it's been an interesting shift. So also that's where I've been to you. Um, if you follow me, you know, I've also been preparing for another surgery, which is a positive thing. Um, so again, I have had to make some life changes. It's been a lot y'all. So <laughs> I'm still here. Just bear with me. You know, um, I'm having to move and prepare for this and start work and a bunch of different things, right? Life changes, um, all at once right now. So I've kind of been MIA a little bit. If you'd like to donate, um, I do have a GoFundMe link set up in the description box below. Um, we appreciate anything. These are free readings. So any donation right now is much appreciated. Uh, I, I, we need anything right now. <laughs> Even if it's a dollar you throw my way, it's much appreciated since I will be able to kind of, I won't be able to do anything for a couple of weeks again. So I'm just trying to prepare again for that. Um, and making this a smooth transition back into healing and working, etc. So good, 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 um, good vibes, please. Right. Um, we appreciate all the love and support that we've already been shown any donation. You guys are amazing. And, um, you've really just helped me through so much and I love you, uh, so, so much. So shout out as well. If you'd like a personal, that information will be in the description box below, guys. I will be doing them only for the next few weeks again and will not be doing them or, yeah, a few weeks if, if even that, right? But, um, and then I will not be doing them again for a while. So take advantage of that while you can. I'm all caught up. They're coming out pretty quick. So um, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Scorpio, there's a decision you need to make and it has to do with a partnership. You're going to be guided in here and it has to do with work as well. People wanting to work with you or working with you. Again, temperance is coming out, Sagittarius energy. Um, but I feel like this is uh, the energy, Scorpio, of just being divinely pushed in a direction here in a partnership and needing to make an important decision. But it's letting go of um, this energy, I feel, Scorpio, of old ideas, right? So it's like selling yourself short, not trusting um, that you're worth whatever, that you have options, that you're good at what you do, right? Because I feel like whatever this energy is, you're very skilled. This is a major thing. This is going to be emotional. This is a partner. Now, for some of you, if it's not work, this is a partnership where somebody is wanting to work with you, put in the work, and this is also divinely guided, right? But this is after you kind of stepping back and saying, you know what, this is what I am worth, and this is what I will accept from a partner, a person, etc. Whether it's a place of employment, whether it's a personal relationship, it's kind of standing your ground, Scorpio, and saying, this is what I'm worth. This is what I want, right? And getting it, right? So I like this vibe already. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with you guys. All right. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive today. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please protect us from any negative energy being sent our way. Block it, send it back into the energy, into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. All right, so I do feel like for some of you, this is major. This is going to be, yeah, this is high vibe shit, right? This is this is what you put in the work for, right? So whether it's a relationship again or a partnership financially, it's something that you're going to be very, very, yeah, this is, uh, you put in the work, it's a spiritual communication, um, a lot of devotion, dedication, uh, done the inner and outer work, right? Um, really focus on your spiritual communication right now. I feel like it's also a message that I'm getting. Um, moving forward in the direction. Yeah, because it's the chariot energy I just saw. Um, 
going towards what you want, right? Um, because you're going to need to pay attention, right? Getting really spiritually connected, praying, listening to the universe, watching for the answers that you're praying for, signs that you're praying for, okay? Because they're going to be given to you. Yep, clarity here. Okay, so yeah, you're going to be given the signs in which direction to move. Um, in strategy, okay? Ace of Swords is kind of coming up with a plan, a strategy. Um, I feel like it's clarity, Scorpio, okay? Getting the clarity that you need moving forward. All right, let's see. Let's pull a spread for my Scorpios. Judgment again, so double confirmation here. All right, let me stop talking and pull the cards. Scorpio, um, overall energy is you, okay, with the death card here. You're over being in this energy of regretting things, okay? Um, I feel like something kind of has become too big of a burden here for you, or there's just been this energy of letting go of things that are becoming too big of a burden for you, right? Wake up call energy with the judgment card here. Um, again, like really understanding here when you receive this message, right? It's kind of a wake up call, right? It's, it's energy of, all right, I need to make some changes here. I need to be truthful or honest with myself. King of wands energy represents integrity, represents being honest with yourself. Hermit energy in reverse. Okay. It's kind of coming out of this energy of solitude of, um, you're coming out of the energy of soul searching. What is this card that's flipped up? Something about the past. You're letting go something, letting go something. The past, it has to do with the past energy, um, possibly a past energy you were committed to. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse. You used to be really emotional about it. Now you're just kind of like, this is what needs to be done here. Okay. There is an, a decision that you need to make involving somebody somebody because that's what I said or something here you're really passionate about here okay the ace of wands is um like a this is the magic stick right so um as far as like you know creative energy passionate energy as far as that is concerned it can be like you know not in a sexual sense right it's like making things uh that you're passionate right um manifesting um, new ideas here, creativity, the energy of um, understanding. It's like following your dreams here, okay? And reaching financial stability through it here. So there's this energy of being hyper-focused here, walking away from things that left you feeling emotional and like, uh, it's almost like distracted from money here, financial energy, needing to make a decision, yeah, a, walking away from things that are blocking a financial energy or negative ener energies that are blocking finances or a new path financially for you. All right. Now there's something that it could be a sexual thing. It could be something that, or somebody that you've been sexually attracted to The the Knight of, or the King of Wands is also a very Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very attractive, charismatic energy. Ace of Wands, this could be, you know, kind of having a wake-up call here, understanding like, yes, this person's fucking sexy. Maybe they're really good and bad, but it's, I'm having to walk away from something here that's hurting my pocket here or something here, okay? It's hurting, somebody is walking away from something here or needing to make a decision to walk away from something that's affecting financial stability. star card Aquarius energy for some of you it's Aquarius energy or this is the energy of prayers being answered in a situation okay so two 
two of wands in reverse, you've walked away from something where you feel like you weren't getting what you wanted, where like your desires weren't being met, where it weren't being reached, like something wasn't working here. You weren't getting what you wanted. Okay. And then the wheel with the wheel of fortune, it's like you're trusting your intuition. You understand here. Um, this is like a change in partner. There's something new coming in. Okay. So again, trusting your intuition here and kind of cutting off an energy that's not working with you. Okay, so if it's not a partnership, it's like I see you in this energy of cutting off things that aren't equal give and take that aren't working with you, whether it's a place of employment here, Scorpio, or if it's a partnership, you're just kind of like, I'm not, I'm, I'm trusting my intuition here. Again, inner wisdom here with the owl, high priestess energy, Pisces energy, but this is somebody that knows, right? It's like you, it's like you're intuitively, you're not seeing a future somewhere. All right, whether it's with a person here or a situation and you're and you're moving in a direction or you will be moving in a direction where again needing to make a decision, okay, and not let your emotions get the best of you because you see all the water here underneath here at the behind this person after making a decision. Again, with a partnership, this is a soulmate connection or connection that is destined to happen or partnership that is again with work here for some of a lot of you there's a definite it's a big opportunity financially you're going to be changing something okay or have be given an opportunity here that uh is going to bring you freedom and financial freedom because the three of wands is expansion oh my god scorpio cancer energy something that's been hidden from you there is something that's been hidden from you, devil energy. Okay, Capricorn energy. Could have to do with a Capricorn. Moving towards something here that you feel emotionally drawn to, where your heart is, okay? Um, and that could have to do with, you know, where your heart is as far as like what you're passionate about, what you do for work, right? Um, You need to be thinking logically here. I just saw the four of want, four of swords and the full card about a new beginning here. A new beginning. You need to be thinking logically about like something here that you don't see. Cancer energy, the moon card. You don't know. that sees you differently Scorpio I don't know what this is and you're going to be given an opportunity because of something else like a uh, past energy somebody somebody lost their shit in a situation person or uh, in a relationship or a workplace environment okay a situation here um, somebody's looking at you differently, you're going to be happy about whatever this is, okay? So again, with this Knave of Cups energy, really trust your intuition. Um, see how you see his back. There's something behind your back, something hidden. Again, moon energy that you haven't really known about a situation, okay? Or you don't know. Um, and now if this isn't the message I'm getting, if this isn't like for a work situation it's a situation where something's coming out somebody lost their shit somebody did something fucked up when they were upset okay they um and this is haunting them but it's coming back and it's biting them in the ass scorpio and somebody sees you differently here something's gonna make you happy it's somebody from your past coming towards you um they're walking away from a situation yeah wake up call somebody did something crazy i don't know what this is um 
juggling energy, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Look at the snake there. Uh, could be dealing with a Virgo as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water energy, soulmate energy though. So again, um, somebody is viewing you as some, it's like you're, uh, more stable they regret something they regret something if somebody chose somebody over you in some kind of option or some kind of situation you're more stable you're being view, viewed as more stable um now and for some of you that have been really worried about money here um there's a new beginning here coming in knight of wands energy because of taking some kind of like bold action here okay you're gonna be okay all this worry all this this conflict inner conflict turmoil emotional stuff okay with the knight of wands here you're gonna be okay prayers being answered okay coming out of the energy of feeling emotionally fucked right and like you are nine of pentacles in reverse like you're not able to manifest what you need financially okay For some of you, it is from something that you've done that has to do with uh, creative energy, some kind of art here, okay? Also, artistry is what I'm hearing. Ten of Cups energy, happy, loving, supportive family energy, but this is long-term happiness. So it's kind of pushing you into this energy, Scorpio, of moving towards long-term happiness, okay? Again, so it's like walking away from things the energy that i'm getting from this whole reading you're basically is just i'm in you're in the energy or you will be in the energy of walking away from things that no longer serve you that that you can't see yourself committing to long term okay whether it's with a person or a situation financially um it's making these moves these changes here with the six of swords energy and it paying off right trusting your intuition making the changes that you need to and kind of um, you know, prayers being answered, nine of swords energy, whatever you've been worried about here, again, with this anxiety, I'm feeling heavy anxiety for you guys a lot lately. It's been, you know, justice energy, Libra energy, things are working out. And for some of you, if it is legal, things are definitely going to be working out in your favor, but with justice, it's things working out in your favor after feeling like you've been through a period of time where maybe they haven't been necessarily two of swords because you've made a move you're making moves making decisions okay i'm hearing like it's like you're making moves right when you need to if you made you've made a decision or important decision right when you needed to knight of swords energy again here heavy watching okay you've got an audience maybe some of you have a platform um okay maybe this is what this creative energy is okay being watched okay uh what else spirit there's been fighting over it for some of you. There's been fighting over something that you do. Six of Cups, a past energy, devil energy, uh, Capricorn energy. It could have to do with a past situation or a Capricorn energy. This could also be family, a family energy, devil energy, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, a Knight of Cups, though. Okay. And then the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So, Scorpio. Um... Things have kind of, with this energy, are being revealed to you, possibly about some. And for some of you, this is family that hasn't been loving and supportive. Yeah, clarity. You're getting clarity here on some situations here. People, places, and things. Again, understanding what it is that you might need to disconnect from. Okay? And then being given divine grace. And for some of you, um, see how there's two rings? I don't know why, but like, I've never really seen the six of pentacles as being like a partnership as far as marriage is concerned, but this is equal give and take knight of cups being emotionally, um, drawn to a connection shift here, 10 of cups energy where there's equal give and take and you're not in this situation where you're being lied to eight of swords and being made a fool of, okay. Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. 
Knight of Pentacles. This is my profit card as well. So it's like understanding, trusting your intuition. I feel like whatever this month is about is it's really kind of like getting back to the basics for you, Scorpio, what this reading feels like also. And really like spirit, like understanding your gift, understanding your intuitive, um, your intuition and how it works and, 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 and understanding to trust it. I feel like there's just been like a series. It's like, you're having to go through understanding that you need to trust this. Yeah. It's a wake up call. Okay. There's been a, a wake up call, sun energy, Leo energy, the month of August right now. All right. Scorpio energy judgment. All right. So restoration of life. This is what the wake up call is for you. It's like really like, um, and some people don't like it. This is what this devil energy is with the Knight of swords. It's like the restoration of your life. Some people are not happy about this, but fuck them Scorpio, right? Stay strong. This has been your wake up call. Maybe understanding like, okay, Two of Pentacles energy. Some of you, um, damn, strength card Leo energy are becoming famous or have like a level of notoriety or people know you or see, and it's like people are watching and people are watching it and don't like it. Um, and it's bringing you options or will bring you options financially. Also, that's this energy. Be careful about energies around you moving forward into, into this next chapter, whatever it is remember like we're we're building solid foundations for this energy of um i feel like for you with a ten of cups you know long-term happiness and so you know you got some energies that like everybody's not for you right now with what you're doing and it's just understanding energetically you know kind of seeing it and understanding how to distance yourself and what you need to do in order to, you know, stay strong with a strength card as well, right? So, um, and again, with loyal energies, understand like who's going to be loyal and you're right or die and next to you, right? Because if you're moving forward again, for some of you, moon card energy, cancer energy, but things being revealed to you that you don't necessarily see, if you're moving forward in an energy where, you know, um, you will be making quite a bit more money or something like that. It's maybe, you know, uh, your angels and God showing you, okay, these are the people that are for you and these are the people that aren't, right? So moving forward, you're not going to have to worry about, you know, um, being intertwined or enmeshed in negative energies that aren't for you moving forward, right, to this next chapter, okay? So... Again, and these people are just going to have to, in this devil energy with a knight of swords, just watch, right? And, and that's, and I feel like that's the, the blessing and, and the prayer, uh, the prayers being answered for you in this energy. It's almost kind of like karma for, yeah, this wake up call, this judgment time. It's, 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 uh, you know, your angels kind of destroying the power of enemies and humiliating them, right? The humility is having to watch you, Scorpio, rise above, right? In this energy of moving forward and whatever it is, like being known, right? Being great at what you do and people seeing it. Like, I just feel this energy. It's big, Scorpio. Um, so stay strong right now um, because whatever you've gone through, it's only, I feel like, just, again, Knight of Pentacles, practice some patience right now because this is going to be the beginning of a really um, powerful chapter in your life, I feel, uh, for whoever this is resonating for. And again, with the Eight of Swords, truth and justice, okay? That Libra energy, again, justice, things working out, things, people, the truth being known in a situation. Um, and again, you having victory in a situation where, again, with this Queen of Swords energy in reverse, because this is upside down, where you were dealing with somebody that was pretty fucking dirty, that played pretty dirty. Male or female energy, it doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine, just because I said the Queen of Cups. But again, this is a partnership that's destined, a soulmate contract, whether it's a partnership with a person or a situation with work. For some of you, I feel like this is a contract, a soul contract. You're gonna be working with somebody. This is like meant to change your life. It's big, right? It's, 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 it's energies that are supposed to be working together to create something big and powerful, right? So um, 
whatever it is that you do, it's going to impact others greatly. So I love this energy Scorpio. Um, but this is bringing things into fruition. Emotional energy with the cups too. Um, but that is soulmate energy too. So again, a lot of you do. If you've been single, it's the energy here. Oh, look, four of wands, twin flame energy as well. But that energy, soulmate energy. And this is also represent marriage of calling in that soulmate and bringing that long-term happiness, what it is that you do want, right? And 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 accepting, not accepting anything less than what you want and deserve, Scorpio. I love it. Four of Cups, healing energy, right? So emotional healing. And, and, and I feel like this is like for my Scorpios that have done the work and continue to do the work, right? It's like, understand that, you know, there's always some bumps in the road, right? And I feel like for, for some of y'all here with this energy, it's going to really, um, there's a lot of communication coming in that's going to bring a lot of harmony and peace into your life and happiness, right? And so, again, it's just kind of having to, with these changes, like clearing out the closet, cleaning out the closet, right? Getting rid of this energy that you don't want in your life. So you're making room for this new energy that's going to be bring a lot of, oh, yeah, this is divinely guided. Again, an artistry here. This is also creativity, um, Sagittarius temperance energy, but somebody is definitely very talented here. Communication coming in. So again, I'm looking at the violin too, for some of you um, here in the harp. Okay, some of this is music energy, um, artistry, um, but dance, okay something that you love here with the ace of cups so this is beautiful scorpio um again it's like somebody really sees some mysterious potential with what it is that you do or something that you do okay um Mm, I just got chills. I love this reading, Scorpio. Yeah. So with the seven of swords energy, it's like if you feel like your life here is dull or there's just been this energy of feeling like, why is everybody full of shit? And da 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 da. And it, walking away from this energy of like feeling like, um, you know, walking away from deceptive energy and walking towards energy that, you know, feels like synergy right where people are working with you instead of against you it's understanding this flow and really kind of Scorpio just uh celebrating it's like moving into this energy of whatever you've done took a lot of courage here and you really I feel like again <sighs> protecting energy with a seven of wands you've become a pro basically it's just kind of like it's this unfuck withable energy here as well um, but something that you've been doing or whatever you've been doing here, it's taken a lot of courage, but it's going to pay off, right? So whatever it is that you've taken, you've, you've been strong enough to walk away from, um, this is, is, it's going to be such a huge blessing for you in your life. All right. So I love this. I hope this is helpful for someone until next time. Lots and love and light, guys. Again, if you'd like it personal, that information's in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, we much appreciate it as well. That information's also in the description box below as well, guys. Until next time, lots and love and light. Bye.